What's up guys? Finally here doing the uh, stag arms uh, stag 15, AR 15 uh, infocarpine infortery, whatever you want to call it uh, review. The reason why some people like to call it an infortery is because it's not got the standard uh, infocarpine barrel which is like 11 point for 14, uh, 14 or it could be 11 point whatever uh, I think 14 is the standard and you have to be a short barrel rifle for that that's why they have the 16 inch barrel which I prefer anyway I think it looks better and personally I'd rather have the longer barrel um, but anyway I've got about 350 rounds through this gun not a single problem it runs like a, a uh, Rolex watch I mean it's just so smooth um, accuracy it's dead on it's it's tuned in for about 200 yards you know because the peep size 0 to 200 and so the bullet is, it shoots a pinch low at about I don't know 70 80 yards but that's normal and I want to keep it like that because that's where I want the zero to be about 200 it's kind of a middle zero because the bolt rises on the AR-15 up to 300 I think and then it starts to drop but anyway so you just gotta know how it shoots you know but what an inch isn't bad I'm not good enough shot to guarantee if Lord forbid someone took my family hostage to risk shooting them in the eyeball or something like that from 50 yards with anything I wouldn't even I'm not that good but if I want to put one in their head, I can do it. Um, but anyway, this gun, it's got the Midwest Industries flip, rear flip up and the standard post front sight. It's the Model 2, if I haven't already said it. Uh, right handed version. Um, if, you know, flat topped if you want to put the regular uh, sight on it. Uh, I don't know if it comes standard in most of them. I didn't bother to look. Um, it's got the dual heat shielded uh, four in on the front. Comes with an aluminum magazine. I just bought the P mag stuck in there. I really like the look of the aluminum, but the P mags really are the best you can buy. Non tilt uh, follower magazine seat or no magazine seat. Um, or it's got magazine seat resistant at least. I mean. Plus, it looked kind of cool, but uh, anyway, it's got the old stock on there. Only thing I really kind of wish that they didn't have on there was a little stag arms loader on the stock. Um, it doesn't bother me. I just wish they didn't have to brand it. You know, I, actually, I mean, I like representing that it's a stag arms. It's such a good uh, AR. When I bought this gun. As I said in my other video, but if you haven't watched it, since it's more of a review, for those that don't see the other video, I want to throw this in here. Um, money wasn't really a thing. I didn't want to spend money stupidly. And crazily, for my first AR-15, seeing, you know, I might not like something about it and waste some money. That's so, why um, I was kind of looking in the range of Cole and Bushmaster. Originally, I was going to buy a DPMS, but DPMS is a great um, a great firearm, you know, uh, but after I threw the sights on it, the iron sights, it was going to cost me, you know, like $100, $150 cheaper than your normal stuff. And I decided to go upgrade because I wanted the chrome barrel and some of the other internals to be a little more um, a little more to my liking um, but anyway I just decided to go with stag because I like their customer uh, from what I've heard online they have great customer service they have a lifetime warranty which that says a lot um, I mean most other big brands that don't have that this have a few years I think I don't want to say no names get some kind of brand for you started but the bit of the heavy hitters 
but um anyway I know it's got the 41 let's see 4140 barrel chrome lined um I've read that the uh their met the bolts are medical uh, metal particle tested batched you know where they test one of like a hundred or a thousand or however many one an hour or something however they all know how they do it, if it's in bins or what but anyway um another thing that kind of makes me like them is uh, everything's made in-house that means the receiver the stocks everything is made there at the plant the engravings um i, I know the sites ain't but you know all the sites that might do that i don't know but anyway, and they just, they, they, it seems like they give care. There's no machine marks on it. They, the, as everybody says on the internet, the coating's excellent. Triggers, I tested out plenty of triggers on there, and uh, I don't like, if I go 308, I'm going to go Rock River lower because it's got the two-stage trigger. I don't want a two-stage trigger for my AR. Um, but pretty much all the ARs I picked up, trigger was kind of the same. Whether it was DPMS, Bushmaster, uh, Colt, what have you. Um, Stag's known for their left-handed uh, rifles. They make a true left-handed AR-15. And uh, the the matter of fact, for those who who may not know Stag as a big brand. CMT is their co is the co parent company, uh, and by parent company I mean the same company. It's not just like somebody over it. Uh, CMT doesn't make AR-15s, but CMT made the parts for pretty much all the AR-15s, like Bushmaster. Or, uh, I know. Uh, I know there's like two tiers that use different parts, and uh, like even the big big guns that cost up in the thousands probably use a CMT parts CMT stands for Continental Machine and Tool um, the guy who owns it now owns Stag Arms now I guess in CMT2 inherited I think is what it was said uh, CMT and he was a left handed shooter so he wanted to make a true left handed AR-15 and um, this says a lot it says that to me between making everything in-house and just the way they set up the customer service it means that they really want to make a quality product because left-handed guns only account for 10 percent of all firearm sales I read somewhere and so it's not really a profitable margin that's why I mean it's it's gonna make money but it's not gonna make the mass money they want to but anyway, so them doing that saying they want to please people. I mean, just the way they set everything up. And um, they're not near as big. If you read the numbers, the Bushmaster and Armor Lights and Colts and all those are. But it allows them to, to put more care into it, I think, from everything I've read. Just the way you have looked at them, uh, I really like the things that they do. Uh, let's see. I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, its accuracy's great. I haven't had a single, and I'll tell you on this channel, if I have problems, I figured I might because I even got another thing. I didn't clean it or nothing. It started dumping rounds through it. Um, I haven't put any steel ammo through it. It was all federal. Um, I'm gonna be trying. I'm probably gonna go to the gun store. And they got like seven or eight different brands of ammo that all cost the same. I'll probably just pick up like eight or nine boxes of it just to run through. Just to, it was 55 grain ammo I was using. Two, two, three. It's got the one and nine twist um, barrel, which is good to 62 grain bullets, from what I read. Throwing them good. Uh, but uh. Yeah, see, I guess that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys.